Hello and welcome to StrangeCast episode 10. Pink jobs and blue jobs. That's it. I'm Andre. And I'm Kirsten. And she is my lovely wife. So once again, she has thoughts on things that I don't yet know 100% and I will react to them in real time. So what is a pink job and what is a blue job? So there is this idea that in a relationship you would have pink jobs and blue jobs so that might be you know around the house in the garden looking after children if there are whatever it might be so we're talking about cleaning maybe breaking down the cleaning so the bathroom you know kitchen cooking the garden taking the bins out all those things and how you separate them if you do at all because obviously in some couples one person does everything or the majority for whatever reason that might be and why it's separated in that way so some people believe that you know the old traditional women in the kitchen women doing the cooking the cleaning looking after the children they would be pink jobs and the blue jobs would be considered more manly things so you know fixing the car mowing the lawn um putting up a shelf that doesn't stay up putting up a a shelf um all those kind of things so i thought we could just talk about how we feel about that particular way of thinking okay so I suppose for me, um, the the jobs I tend to do would be like emptying the tumble dryer water because we have a dryer with a condenser upstairs and I empty that. I will wash up if there's washing up that needs doing the dishwasher, you know, it's not dishwasher safe. And I like washing up. What I do is I walk around the house with wireless headphones on and I listen to a book or a podcast or a YouTube video and I'll wash those things because I quite enjoy it. If I don't tend to get to it, Alice does. Um... <laughs> And all the sort of admin tech things in the house. If there's something that's broken that's techy, I'll fix that. Or so would you I'll see that as being a blue job? <clears throat> I don't know. Do you think? Could be. Could be. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's, it's weird because these days so many people do so many different things. And this feels almost like um, an old method of quantifying things. Yeah. Is it relevant today, I suppose, is a question I want to know. Comments below. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously dependent on the relationship, isn't it? And maybe ours isn't the best to try and put this to, only because there are many things house-related that I do and always have done because it's easier that way, you know, for you to cook us all dinner. And I'm not saying that people who can't see, you know, whatever degree well, that might it. be I mean, you in, look at Ed can't cook. These people exactly. Crazy cooks. But for you personally, it's not something that you have particularly learnt or wanted or enjoy doing, which I is think, fine. I think I would if I were um, more able with these flat top things because I love food and it seems only right that I, you know, make it. <laughs> yeah, I just can't imagine you in the kitchen making a whole meal but you know maybe that's my perception of it maybe if I you know encouraged you more I don't know but you know things like that and the cleaning like you will when we go on holiday oh yeah when we come back I mean obviously the house is always tidy because you know we're tidy people we put things back so it's not like I come back and the house is trashed or anything but you will wipe down all the surfaces in the kitchen and make sure that it's all tidy and put away and run the hoover around and stuff like that. So, you know. I'm not a slovenly bachelor. No, no, you're not. Um, So it's not to say that you don't do anything at all. It's just easier for me. And maybe I'm a little bit of a control freak when it comes to cleaning. So I tend to take over with that anyway. Um, It's your domain. (laughs) Yeah. By choice. Yeah. I am getting better at delegating. Particularly Alice, my little helper. Yeah. She loves to to help. And Jake did when he was 
a lot younger. He used to enjoy hoovering and stuff like that, but um, which I suppose then we are kind of in that old fashioned traditional role of the woman looks after the house, which I hate, but not that that's how it is for us. I just mean that way of thinking. That way of thinking, yeah. Um, but that's just how it's... Fallen out? Yeah, it's how it's worked for us. But I do want to say that I grew up in a house where it was kind of almost the reverse. So when my sister was born, my mum went back to work because she had the more secure, high-paying job. And that was her career and that's what she went back to. And it was my dad that stayed at home. And he did the majority of the cooking and the cleaning and stuff because he was the one at home. And so I've never, you know, sort of grown up with that idea of men only do certain jobs and the blue jobs and all of that. It was just a case of that's, you know, he's at home, so he does it. Well, it's a good job because your dad's roast potatoes are something to live for. (laughs) I love them. Roast tatties, mate. By the way, he's not a Geordie, but I just think it's fitting. No, he's not. He's definitely not. Um, but yeah, so what else would you consider to be... Let's let's do the blue jobs. What would you consider to be a blue man job? I don't, I don't know. The, like the stuff I mentioned, and we don't put up shelves in this house because we just sort of never have. <laughs> no, we don't. Um, and if it's a picture that needs hanging, you'll do it so it's straight. I mean, it's a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the things that people consider to be a blue job is like taking the bins out oh yeah you know that's that kind of thing um like i said before mowing the grass um anything that's maybe a bit more physical in the garden as opposed to just planting and digging up the weeds is usually um i think the barbecue is usually one that oh yeah men tend to gravitate towards um changing light bulbs i don't mind that something yeah i mean to be fair in our house all the light bulbs are smart ones and connected to something else so i if i can avoid it we'll try and leave that all up to you i i don't like getting involved with that um that's fair so yeah if i if i could just let you be in charge of that anything electronic aspect of blue i'll do it exactly and anything plugging anything in or computer stuff setting up things <laughs> that's the technical word um you know the tv all of those things that that's your stuff i for me in our house that's the blue job yeah and it's like when you came home uh when we got our tv that's down here and i'd, I'd taken it and deboxed it and you really needed two people but i i was not waiting for two people no you weren't so i i did that i took the old one off the top i moved it behind the sofa and i got the new one up and it's just yeah when it's tech i'm there yeah and now you're training jake so when you're not here then i can get him to fill in he does when things break or and we do together and it's good fun Mm -hmm. and when we moved here like um uh they were a lot younger and I think when we moved here, at least, I didn't have a helper. But when we moved to the previous house, I had my brother Dwayne come and help wire all the stuff. These days, I'd get him to help do it. And I'd help him with his stuff because we both have a lot of things now. And uh, wiring is much better with two people. When we set his computer upstairs, and I remember I was sort of under the desk because I don't mind not being able to see in the dark. That's so I was true. pushing cables through the hole in the desk, or, or you would be handing me down things. Mm-hmm. And I'd be plugging them in because, yeah, sometimes not having sight is a blessing. It's fine. Makes it work. So, yeah, are there any other blue jobs in our house that may be for whatever reason? Do you know what? I don't know. I think this house is just small and stuff just gets done. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, it's not like I don't turn around and, oh, look, something happened. That would be terrible thinking. Um, most of the people that think like that, I think, tend to be men that sit in front of the TV and watch uh, football matches, which I don't. 
but you know no. we all kind of chip in i feel yeah stuff happens i think it's also that appreciation if you know we are quite traditional in the sense of i look after the house and stuff and i think i'm okay with that even though i i very much hate the idea of being told this is what you should do um which is i'm not trying to say that you've ever said that or anyone's ever said that to me but you know where i, I sleep why would i do that to myself <laughs> i choose to do that and that's the thing i like that there is a choice um i think it's the appreciation you know you appreciate what i do and um you know, if I felt like you didn't, that would be where there would be an issue. If right. it was just a case of me spending every single day doing housework and cooking for everybody and no one ever acknowledged that, that would be where the issue would be for me. Rightly. Yeah. Um, in the same way that if you fixed something for me that I'd asked you to do or whatever... What, just by walking into the room and it starts working? <laughs> yeah, you have an uncanny way of doing that, actually. Um, yeah, Ed and I joke about this, my friend Ed. He's like, if yeah. you come to my house and stuff that's broken starts working, I'm going to keep you around, he's mm -hmm. basically said. So um, I say, well, my wife wouldn't like that, but, you know, <laughs> maybe we could arrange like a, a weekends thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. We can do that. We'll rent you out. Oh, boy. <laughs> rent a blue. Um... But yeah, I think, I'm trying to think. Okay, so then pink jobs. What would you consider a pink job? Taking maybe us out of the picture because we've already sort of said what I do. Well, oddly, it feels to me, having grown up in a household where mainly my mum cooked, that cooking is a pink job, even mm -hmm. though I just talked about Ed, who yeah. loves cooking and is annoyed that I don't cook. <laughs> and I, yeah. I, you know, he's a very good blind cook and I get that. Um mm -hmm. But it's just sort of the, the hob and the, as I've said, the flat top kind of makes it annoying for me to cook. If it were induction, uh, which it isn't, it's just on or it's not, you could feel where the rings are because they magnetically attach. But this is not that. It's just a flat hob and it's annoying. Yeah. It'd be nice to change it one day or when we move to, to, to make that happen so I could do more of that because I'd like to. Yeah, I mean, I grew up with my dad, like I said, doing... I mean, my mum cooks as well. They're both amazing cooks, but my dad did a you know a, a huge amount of cooking and is brilliant at it so oh yes for me that's very much a joint joint we'll be talking thing. more about your parents cooking uh on our christmas episode later <laughs> yes oh yes yeah. um that's a whole thing yeah okay so what else pink jobs pink jobs wow well bathrooms mm -hmm. <laughs> cleaning off mm -hmm. yeah it's a funny one. I mean, when I was in school, in the sixth form, my sixth form year, uh, we had an ensuite. We were one of very few people to have one. And uh, I made it my job to make sure that the place was clean. So I've done that. I don't mind doing that. Especially, you know, I used it. I should keep it clean for the next person. I shared it with a guy called Darren. There's no way that he should be able to walk into my hairy legs bathroom. It's not nice. <laughs> so, yeah, cleaning the bathroom after yourself um, is necessary action as far as I'm concerned. Yep. But it feels, just by the nature of the naming of it, it's cleaning and it, you know, feels like a pink job. Yeah. Are these all very sexist? It's completely sexist. <laughs> That's what I think. Not from, not from you, but I think it is, like we said, it's that traditional role of women stay at home and they cook and clean and look after the children. And the men go out and they earn the money and they do the physical work. Yeah. So the taking out the bins, oh, the women are too feeble to be able to do that so the man should take out the bins and the man should mow the lawn because it's using our oh, wow. exactly you know and obviously women have worked incredibly hard to change that and to be more equal which is fantastic but then there still is that connotation of jobs for each side yeah. um and I'm, we wondered, didn't we, how that would work in a same-sex relationship? How do you, is it just a case of, I like doing this and so hate do doing it. that, so you do it? Or, you know, do you just pick and choose? Right. What you like doing on the day? 
is a male male relationship all blue jobs and are the female relationships all pink jobs and you know what about they thems and i'm not making light of it i'm genuinely curious like how does that how does that work well i think it's probably just much more shared hopefully i mean maybe in other relationships people it, you know you do have lots of people who do everything and then the other person does nothing right i don't know what about taking the kids out for the day is that a pink or a blue because we both do it and i wondered well traditionally it would be a pink job wouldn't it if you were looking far far back right for us it would have been a pink job up until recent years because when the kids were younger it was much harder for you to be out with them you know when they were babies and toddlers and young children you wouldn't have easily been able to take them out by yourself I know. so that would have been a me thing but in the last what would you say four years five years yeah likely you've taken them out multiple times and spent the day with them and just you guys yeah so i think that's fun yeah so it's just timing in you know terms of that one yeah and um like i mean the first time we went anywhere it was jake and i it was nine we went all the way to birmingham it was like a interesting first trip like it's not just round the corner no 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 you're hours away by train so yeah you didn't he- ease him into that one did you it no was it, full was a, force. it was a deep end we're going on a proper trip proper journey it was great fun mm-hmm. i remember we ate barbecue uh rolls from greg's <laughs> which we jake and i still remember fondly yeah, i think that was his first greg's yeah 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 it was it was a good day he talked about that a lot well we still think about that you see yeah. Because he, like me, remembers the places that we visit by the food we eat. <laughs> My dad jokes about that. He's like, you only remember the gigs for the food. I'm like, well, yeah. That's what I go for. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. So I think that's a blue and pink job. Yeah. Um, oh, I remember <clears throat> a comment that somebody posted on a previous one, I think, when we talked about us. Right. And it was about um, changing nappies. And how that worked as a blind parent. And maybe now would be a, a good point to slip it in that you've never changed a nappy in your life. Damn right. And never would. So that would be 100% a pink job. I have probably whatever is an undiagnosed fear of dirt. Right? <laughs> I've had it since I was a kid. And actually, I meant to mention this a while back. But I remember, and my mum told me this story, that she put me on a blanket on grass in bare feet as a baby and any time I left the blanket I would just curl my toes and my fingers I wouldn't touch it at all hated it had to be on the blanket yeah for you it is your hands anything that you have to touch with your hands you find really difficult when the kids have had slime or any of those kind of um sensory feeling toys I guess if they're even remotely sticky you know even if it's not going to come off on your hands yeah. You will not touch it. Play-Doh that the kids had when they were younger, you do not like that. Physical reaction. It yeah. makes me actually feel sick. Yeah. So I it's know. not just like, ew, um, I'm too pretty to touch it. No, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, yeah. I'm sure another couple with a blind parent or both blind parents could explain nappy changing and how that works a lot better because we have no idea. Yeah, it was, I'll ask Alison. Yeah, very much a pink job They're for us. They're both blind pe- parents. But yeah. yeah, oh my God, no, I can't. And it's funny, I mean, like, a lot of people would just be fine with this stuff. But yeah, no, I couldn't. I, I Maybe that's also why I never wanted a guide dog, picking up dog after stuff. No. Yeah, you couldn't do that. Not me. <laughs> you also wash your hands as soon as you've touched any animal. I do. So you couldn't have a guide dog and be washing your hands every five seconds from touching it so no and i remember like my dad when i was younger he would make me touch the food on the plate which i always thought a bit weird um to show me where stuff was instead of using a knife or a fork to do it Mm. and i would instantly have to wash my hands but he wouldn't let me get up so like i'd have to just hold the fork with a knife with greasy fingers and i hated that i still hate it 
Yeah. That's that's quite difficult. Yeah. Thank but it was hard to explain. And a bit like in the previous episode, we were talking about people not understanding yeah. neur- I don't know, neuroses. Yeah. A whole thing. Well, it's a sensory issue. Definitely. Because you won't even give me a kiss if I've got anything on my lips. As in, like, a lip balm or... Lipstick. A lip gloss or anything like that. You're right. Um, I never even thought about that. Mm-hmm. But it all, yeah, it comes back to the same thing. Yeah. So it's all a sensory thing. <laughs> That's okay. Huh. You know. It's funny what you learn about yourself. <laughs> See? Talking it out on the podcast. Yeah. Pink and blue. Pink and blue. Well, there you go. Bit of a short one, but a fun one, hopefully. Um... If you have pink and blue thoughts, uh, leave them in the comments um, or via the contact form on our website. Be interested to hear what you uh, all do and how you designate them. Because it's, yeah, I suppose the designation is the curious one. And if you live alone, then every job is pink or blue, isn't it? You've got no choice. Yeah. So there we are. Maybe it's green. It's <coughs> just all one. Oh, is it? I, d- I don't know. I, d- I don't think that's a term. I'm just, <laughs> just making it up. What about red and green? Like traffic lights. The red and green just makes me think of Christmas. Ooh. <laughs> coming soon, coming soon. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello and welcome to Strangecast episode 10. That's your cue. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say something else. I was focusing on trying not to say what we just talked about. Okay, you might have to do that again.